Welcome back to the Viking House build. We are now at part nine, I believe. It's a windy day. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's a really windy day. About 60 mile an hour, some of the gusts. So we've been a bit cautious, a bit wary. There's been some big trees down. Uh, we've tried not to do too much dangerous work, although I say that we've been up on the roof pretty much doing dangerous work. So yeah, maybe don't try this at home. But yeah, we're really windy day. Part nine is all about the chimney kind of roof section, about, we, we don't know what quite to call it. I think it's called a chimney hat. I don't know, a chimney top, chimney cap maybe. We're, we're not too sure. Basically, where I cut a hole in the roof of the Viking shelter to allow the smoke to come up, what that resulted in is obviously the rain can then come in from the top. It would mean it would rain on our fire pit, but we've had that so far and it hasn't put our fire pit out. It's no different to having a campfire outside if you get it hot enough the rain shouldn't put it out but obviously we, we do want to fix that problem and actually doing a bit of research I found out that the Vikings did have some form of chimney in their in their houses so what I did myself and Dustin we uh, banged the heads together got some ideas and we came up with this kind of triangular long triangular frame which we then lined with bark now the, the frame is the length of the fire pit so it kind of looks funny now you can see in the background it kind of looks strange it's like an additional roof on top of the Viking house. I did see it on some Viking houses in the past. So uh, we went with that, we put our own little twist on it. Uh, we added the bark layer as well. I don't know if you saw us doing that, that earlier. We added a bark layer. We have plenty of cedar still around us. So we figured, why not? Use that bark as kind of tiles. We, 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 we sort of tiled it on. We used some old rusty nails that those of you who follow TA Outdoors will know that we got from the pallet wood cabin when we were taking down, breaking down pallets, uh, which we got for free as well from industrial states and things. We recycled the nails, dad recycled them because he's tight and he, wanted, he didn't want to buy new nails. So we've used old rusty nails just to hold that bark in place, knocked them in a bit, bent them over so it's kind of acted like a hook because obviously that bark is going to shrink. We figured this out now with the roof. Uh, there's loads of gaps in it. We know there's loads of gaps in it and that is because the bark shrinks. When the moisture leaves the bark, which is when you pull it off the tree, that moisture comes out, it dries in the sun, it constricts and obviously it then cracks and you get gaps in the shelter. However, we're really pleased with how the Viking house is going. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I just wanted to say again, massive, massive thank you to all of you watching this series. We have been overwhelmed by the amount of support. You've only got to look through the comment section of every, every video and it's just insane. It's incredibly positive very very grateful uh, so yeah thank you guys for joining us on this adventure we're having an absolute blast like i say we're amateurs this is not historically correct gonna say that uh, and we're just having fun we're getting out here and we're having fun so that was the main project for part nine was getting that chimney and i'm not gonna lie guys that took most of the day <laughs> that's taken us most of the day we've had to harvest the materials uh, we've had to battle against the winds we've had some big trees down which i'll show you in a bit uh, but dustin is cooking a storm it's coming. There's some really, really good food coming up. We'll talk through that in a minute. I'll show you up closer what we've done with the, the roof and kick back, relax guys. Come and enjoy this episode with us. Today is a traditional Viking meal. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> so we thought, you know, we'd have something tasty. Everyone loves a bit of Asian, Asian food. So we've done some, we're doing some Asian style beef skewers. So that's these that I'm picking up. Just gonna place them here on this chopping board. There we are, there's a small piece there. And then we also got some chicken skewers. So these, this is just chicken breast. And what we've done is we've made a lovely peanut satay, a peanut satay dip for these chicken skewers. And you know what? There's something about peanut satay chicken skewers that I absolutely love. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's the first thing I order when I go to like a Chinese <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> and to go with it, we've also got some vegetables and we've got some noodles. I'm about to throw the noodles on as well and give them a stir. And I reckon uh, 
a couple more minutes and this will be ready to eat. Viking stir fry. Viking stir fry. Very <laughs> traditional today. Very traditional, yeah. And this is our peanut satay dip. So what's in that? So this is, um, what's in this? Well, good question. There's a bit of ginger, there's a bit of garlic. There's also a bit of water, a bit of soy sauce, a bit of sugar, and a little tablespoon of peanut butter. Oh. Yeah, peanut butter. <laughs> it makes it nice and thick. It brings the peanuts into the equation. And I'll tell you what, you have a go on this and yeah. you will love it. I can't wait for that. That's so good. So, for those wondering, <clears throat> we actually have some wild ingredients in here, don't we, Dustin? So we, 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 do, yeah. we went and collected some wild garlic and some chives earlier, which are, which are found locally in this woodland. We're coming into that season now, springtime. Yep. Well, we're late winter. We're still very, very early spring, but it's all starting to come up. So we've got a real mixture of, I mean, veg and meat and sauce. That's the, the dipping sauce, isn't it? That That's one? right. This is a dipping sauce for our our cubes, our um, our skewered beef. Yeah, and then we've got the satay sauce. Satay's all in there. And then we've got some sort of fresh veg. Extras. You know, we could throw a few chives over it and make it look oh, a bit posh. Yes. We, we could even rip a few leaves of coriander and throw them over as well. As you do, look at that. Make those look a bit posh. And yeah, it's just gonna, I guess, improve the flavor a little bit. That's what it's about, isn't it? It's all about the flavour. I mean, exactly. look at that dish. A bit of it's chili not as like well. it doesn't look huge and filling, but it will be. But it, it's all about the flavour, isn't it? That it's is exactly it. And we've got lots of different flavours going on here. And this is just a bit more wild garlic as well. So we've not cooked this. This is just raw. It's fresh. It's quite strong stuff. This, so you don't want too much of it. And you know what? We could finish it off with a little squeeze of lime. Boom! Oh, this is good. This is worth spending all day building a chimney hat for. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the woods. Right, what are you going for first? You, you... I'm going, I'm definitely going for. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have gone for. Peanut satay oh. chicken. Look at this. I love a bit of satay chicken. Oh, that sauce is that's unreal. Sauce. <laughs> that is unreal. <laughs> mm. Proper good sauce. You know what? They're right. Those people that write comments, you're right. We do eat well. We do. We eat really well. Yeah, we really do. And guys, if you want to see behind the scenes footage of today, Dustin's got um, his channel, Bushcraft Tools. I'll put a link in the description. He does loads of uh, other bushcraft videos as well. But yeah, there'll be a bit more behind the scenes. You know, kind of funny stuff that you won't always see. And, and Dustin's take on the episode as well. So yeah, check that out in the link below. This is, we're just plowing through now. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying some beef now. Is this the, yeah, oh, look mm. at that. Look at that. This is, oh, a bit of sesame seed, yeah? In there as well. So this dipping sauce, it's made up of soy sauce, sesame oil, a bit of garlic, some wild chive, sesame seeds, some sugar, and a little bit of honey. Wow. Oh, so good. We need our Viking mead to uh, we do. <laughs> soften that up. <laughs> also, massive thanks to everyone who watched the first overnighter, which was part seven, I believe. Mm. We had an absolute blast. We did. Um, you guys seem to absolutely love that episode. We are probably going to have a little bit of a break from here <clears throat> for a few weeks, go on to do some different things, and then we're we'll probably hit you with a real good, maybe a two or three night, two nighter, mm. three day trip here, maybe two, three, four days, who knows. A good and long we'll, weekend camp out. Yeah, we'll do a proper weekend camp out, a couple of days, um, and we can update you then on how the shelter's doing. Obviously, we've had really strong winds today, and the bark is absolutely fine. I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I thought that bark would start to pull off with, mm. the, with the strength of the wind, but it's not. Nope. The bark's holding on fine. I'll talk through the little chimney cap that we've done in a minute, 
but yeah we'll come back we'll do an overnight tour we've got so many good things planned for different ways of cooking food and actually going a bit more specific like the vikings did yeah so maybe you... smoking some fish something yeah. like that a bit more traditional yes this is asian food it's yeah. not quite viking food it's a bit of fun really isn't it it's like but it's tasty it is tasty can't knock it don't knock it till you try it so we've got loads of cool things planned but we're going to take a bit of a break from the <coughs> viking series for a bit we'll come back and it's going to be awesome when mm. we come back but we just want to say massive thanks to everyone tuning in every week for the last month and a half i think it's just been insane you know it's yeah. been insane and it's blown us both away hasn't it the feedback. it really has it's incredible this was only just meant to be you know a shack to begin yeah. with we just want to make a shack <laughs> and look what it's turned into yeah it's incredible mike's been helping out with the project we've done this together it's incredible what we've done it's been very good yeah so we'll catch up with you guys in a bit we're gonna absolutely smash this food down and we'll catch up with you a bit and i'll let you know what's been going on today so we have just finished the feast it was awesome we didn't want to film all of it obviously because it takes a while but it was really good and that's that's pretty much what is left which is not a lot this is what we built today <clears throat> if you guys know what it's called please comment below but it's not the chimney it's kind of it kind of is it's it's the it's the top of it it's like a cap or a hat like you get a top hat on a stove or top cap it's basically what it means is that it, it can now rain it will hit this run off the outer sides and it will stay dry in our fire pit on the inside but it also means that all that smoke when it does smoke out can come right up which is why i cut the hole in the first place and the smoke can leak out of the sides one would hope today the wind's been really strong and it's just blasted the, the smoke all over the place but that is what it is that is the length of the fire pit we're super pleased with it it's going to do a job it's going to do the job now, if I zoom in here, you can see what I did is just made a little hole up there. I didn't want to drill too far into this ridge pole. There's be probably better ways of doing this. Maybe you guys know. This is just what we went for. We, you can see the triangle A-frame shape. I then wedged in a V-notch just there, a Y-stick basically, which rests on the cross member of that A-frame. And then these are actually little legs almost, which we nailed in, and they just fold down and they stop it. Hold on. And they stop it swerving like this in the wind. So those little legs there stop the whole system just rocking. So it means it's rigid. If the wind comes from this way, those legs will be rigid and stop it from rocking. And if it comes from that way, those legs again pin into the ridge beam, ridge pole, and they stop it rocking again. So that's our theory. We pretty much just, you know, followed rough guidelines of what the Vikings had done. And again, like most of the series, we put our own twist on it. And that's what came out that's 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 kind of the gist of how it, how it works guys you can see that there it's going to keep most of the rain out off our fire pit anyway the fire pit has been absolutely fantastic we've had some really good meals on it it's big loads of space to move stuff and cook around which has been awesome um we've decided as well sorry not we i've decided this is dad's axlet that <laughs> we, we did in the last episode the wooden one I decided that this raised bed is actually going to now become a bench or a table at the back and I'm going to build a raised bed like Dustin did there like we did in previous episodes over there that's going to happen here so we'll have bed bed table at the back it's going to be good keep watching guys keep subscribing if you're not subscribed it's going to be fun little update on the bark itself so this shrinks a lot once that moisture comes out and you can actually see where it starts to shrink it leaves holes in it and it's it pulls off the nails as well you can see it it kind of lifts off the nails all stuff we've been learning uh, but you know it's going to keep the majority of the water out but it's not going to keep all of it out because it's still very holy it's very religious but you know it goes solid it goes rock hard and you can see why it's so durable we've had big trees down today we've had strong winds and this has not budged at all in the previous episode we did this little wattle fence only a very basic fence, not properly done, but it's more just to uh, create a little perimeter around the Viking camp itself, the Viking shelter or house. As you can see, <clears throat> all the rafters down there that we burnt the ends on, that's to help preserve that wood. A lot of you were asking why we did that. We did say in previous episodes, it's to help preserve the wood for longer. It's it, it, I think it evaporates all the starch in the uh, wood or something to prevent bacteria from breaking down the wood and, well, obviously creating the rot, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I just know it pre preserves it. And there's our pièce de résistance. The top hat. Some of you have been really OCD and said we need to saw that back end of the ridge pole because it's really annoying that it's so long. 
We were going to nail it to that tree, but I think we are actually going to just saw that off. And actually, this one's still quite long as well. So, yeah, these things will be done. We are so close. This has been one of the hardest jobs, is this gable end. We are so close to finishing it. The window is awesome. It's functioning really well. It's doing its job. We're really pleased with the window. But this gable end has taken a very long time. Now, obviously, to uh, heat seal that a little bit more, I say heat seal it. What are you talking about, Mike? To windproof it and improve the heating inside the house we would put some clay in between the gaps but we may wait till spring to do that because we're back we're pretty much beginning of spring now so weather's starting to get warm we're not getting many frosts at all you can just see there now the legs here that dig into that ridge pole just to keep it all secure that's our version of it whatever it's called so here's the interesting thing we have had a massive massive cedar tree down this has come down we reckon yesterday dustin was here two days ago so we're going with yesterday that this cedar tree came down. You can see how shallow the root system is on it. It's not very deep roots. You can actually see the water table down there in that, that yellowish, I guess it's clay water there. But if that had fallen the other way, this way, look where it would have landed. It would have absolutely splatted the Viking house. We would have been gutted. Thankfully it didn't. It fell the way that it did and the Viking house is still standing. But boy, are we lucky. Look at this thing. That is all water in there where we've had so much rain lately. But look how, look how kind of thin these roots are. Just shallow, thin roots. There's obviously, there must be a bigger roots back there, but they've all snapped off. My theory as to why this has fallen is that because we've had so much rain, it's made the clay, <clears throat> you know, much more kind of soft and that's meant that these roots just slip and pull through the clay which is obviously that in com combination with some strong winds is what's maybe made this fall over but it's a boost so we had look at this we're just saying dustin was just saying the winds died right down and it has we now we've, there's hardly any wind <laughs> for the last four or five hours it's been so windy every every sound we've heard we've looked up <laughs> thinking a tree's about to fall down on us <laughs> How lucky were we with that big tree coming down on the shelter? Wow, it's amazing. Look, the bark still, the, the wind's yeah. been so strong over the last 48, 24 hours. Yeah. It's taken down one, two, three trees within two 30 more. meters of our camp. Two more over there, big ones. And, that, and it's taken those down and yet the shelter is absolutely fine. The shelter's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we've yeah. done well. We have, we've done well. That's, that's demolished. <laughs> we'll probably be tucking into those scraps in a minute as well. That's good, man. That was that was a good dish. That was really good. <laughs> really good dish. The shields are still here. For those wondering about the uh, the Viking shields in the previous episode, I'll pop a link in the description if you want to watch those. They're still going there. They're just decorative. They're not going to do us well in a battle. So, Dustin, I've had a few questions in the comments section. What's been your favourite part of the build? Favorite? Well, I know what my least favourite part has been the bark peeling. Definitely the bark, hasn't it? <laughs> that was not fun. Trust me. <laughs> But the, I don't know, I've really enjoyed everything from collecting the rafters, burning the ends off, to um, the beds we've both made and the benches, the fire pit, actually the fire pit. I'd say that was one of our, that blew us away more than it, we expected. It was, the fire I really pit. was, you know, I wasn't planning, well I don't think we were planning <laughs> on having a sunken fire pit into the yeah. ground. I was picturing just a few rocks or, you know, big bricks like and locks. outlining it. Outlining the fire pit and maybe yeah. a long fire. But well. sinking it into the ground and the heat it kicks back and it kind of retains a lot of heat in those rocks as well. I was yeah. really impressed with the fire pit. It's been good, hasn't it? It's been, it's, a, it's been a bit of an adventure, this. We've learned we've learned, we've uh, learned a hell of a lot, haven't we? We definitely have, yeah. It's been, a, it's been a whirlwind of an adventure. And actually, thanks to you guys, we've done quite a lot from your comments, from your suggestions. We've done quite a lot of what you guys have said. Yeah, We've yeah. come and implemented things like the chimney hat. We still don't know what it's called. I enjoyed that. If you that, know what though. it's called, put it in the description. We don't know what it's called. Is it a chimney hat? Is it a, a, a roof? Cap? A cap? Is it a roof vent? <laughs> Um, I don't know, but it's good and it's a great idea and actually looking at it now, again, we, we kind of exceeded our expectations. We have very low expectations. We do, we do. <laughs> Look, the meat copter, last episode. Yeah. No, the one two episodes two ago. Two episodes ago, the meat copter, that was an experiment. It was very good. And I think it went quite well. It was awesome. So it, it worked really well. That heat turned those blades. It was awesome. Yeah. But what we've got to say is obviously thanks to you guys. Big, big, huge thanks for everyone watching the series. The, the, the big part of the build is pretty much done. Now, m myself and Dustin do have other plans for other structures and things. 
So we won't say too much about that down the line. That will come further down the line. But we do have other plans together. We so do. although there'll be a bit of a break between the Viking videos, we will be back for multiple day overnighters, some epic feasts. We still have yeah. some sort of opening ceremony to do here. We do, yeah, we <laughs> with definitely. Some, with some big piece, a big slab of meat. Big slab and, of meat. And some guests, we'll invite some guests, hopefully. Maybe some more mead, you know. Yeah, some, obviously, some more mead in the older <laughs> ox ale horns. But yeah, thanks so much, guys. And if you've got any more suggestions that you'd like to, to, to kind of see us do, whether it's another kind of shelter style build, or part of the Viking series, put them in the in the comment section below because we do try and read all of them. There's there's beginning to get quite a few now, so it's hard to keep up. But we, we try and read all of them, and uh, yeah, pop your suggestions down below. We'll try and implement them where we can. It's been good, man. It's been it's good. Been, uh, it's been incredible. It's been a blast. I've absolutely loved it. Well, that's it for part nine of the Viking. <laughs> the Viking. <laughs> the Viking. <laughs> <laughs> Had a beer. So that's it for part nine of the Viking House series. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Be sure to check out Bushcraft Tools, link in the description below. We are going to be back here for some more fun, some more feasts, probably some more building, and we'll see you soon in the next episode.